doing things that's coming down in him. So, for the first time in American history, well, it's now a federal holiday. The 11th such federal holiday is recognized in the United States of America. So congratulations, Juneteenth, for becoming the 11th federal, federal holiday as well. Now federal workers can have a day off. You know, all of this could have happened a long time ago. But well, a week before Juneteenth, the United States House and Senate decided, let's get this done in 2021. It would look too bad if we didn't get it done soon. You know, that kind of thing. A kind of rushing the whole thing to make yourself look good. And even with all of that being said and done, you still had 14 angry, all men, all conservative Republicans vote against the bill. You know, they're like, it's gonna be too confusing. Kids won't know the difference between, well, Juneteenth and July 4th, because they both have independence in there. And well, kids don't know the difference between June and July. Such nonsense, you know? They can't even be honest about why they are against things like Juneteenth. And Juneteenth isn't the correct actual day of all emancipated African slaves. No, it's actually December 10th. But, well, we won't go there because, well, history. It's a funny thing. You know, I'm happy that Juneteenth is at least being celebrated, at least being honored. You know, it should have happened a long time ago, right after the Civil War. Just like reparations should have happened right after the Civil War. There's a lot that still needs to get done in America. And well, we're slowly doing the symbolic thing, but we're gonna have to move fast to do the real major things. And well, if this is any indication, the United States Senator can have a hold on, well, making a holiday, a federal holiday for, oh, you know, for however long he wants to, well, and then you actually show up at the Juneteenth celebration, the first one, and you know, I heard the woman say, get out of here. She used some explicative, like, language, some, like, profane language there. But the sentiment was accurate. You can't go to a Juneteenth celebration and try to take credit for it when you were the senator that, well, put a hold on it just because you could. You know, and to those 14 Republicans who voted against it, well, I know you don't want to teach critical race theory, but, well, you're probably not going to want to teach that vote in the next 10 years either. It's going to look pretty bad on your record. Just saying. You know, happy Juneteenth. I'm sorry that, well, it took that long for the United States government to recognize Juneteenth. You know, it's taken them a long time to recognize a lot of things. And, well, people want to gripe about things. People want to say, oh, well, you know, it wasn't me that did it. It didn't happen under my watch. But it kind of did. All the bad things kind of happen under everybody's watch continuously and perpetually because nothing has ever changed. So you can tinker around with some things here and there, but if, well, the system doesn't change, it's still a discriminatory system, not based on equity or equality. You know, people say, I'm not for equity, but I'm for equality. Well, you can't be for equality if you're not for equity. The two are, well, not mutually exclusive. You can't say, I'm for somebody being equal. And then, well, they didn't start at the same position as you. It'd be like a race. And one racer is halfway down the track and the other racer is at the starting line. And you're asking them to run the same race, run the same distance, and reach the same end point. That's not equality. That's not, well, equity either. That's delusional thinking. 
And that's the type of thing that's proffered up as conservative talking points all the time. You know, to those 14 House Republicans that voted against Juneteenth because, well, they thought the kids might get confused. Maybe it's you fuckers who got confused. Maybe you got confused about, well, July 4th and Juneteenth and, well, emancipation and independence. Those two things are both the same, emancipation and independence. You know, once again, I just want to say happy Juneteenth. I'm happy that it got done. And, well, it's not going to be a success in America. And, well, you're not going to have equality or equity until, well, the vast majority of people come to the conclusion that, well, Anglo-Saxon white Americans, your own slaves, your own people of African descent, you sold slaves. You sold slaves of African descent. And, well, now you got to pay pay the descendants of the African slaves and pay. That's what you got to do. So, again, I'm on record and still am strongly 100% in support of reparations. I say reparations now because, well, it was promised back then and it needs to happen now because, well, the promise that your country makes should have some meaning. 40 acres and a mule. Nobody ever saw one acre, nor a mule. You can't say people are free after you've had them enslaved for centuries. No, it doesn't work like that. So, well, they say no justice, no peace. I don't believe in that. I believe in fair is fair. Once again, you own them. You sold them. Now you got to pay them. 